we've got to talk about the elephant in the room. The cost of retired Lego sets has skyrocketed and has continued to rise for a lot of sets. So the question I want to answer today is how do we get our hands on those amazing retired sets that we've been wanting to add to our collection, but do it at a fraction of the price? A lot of us don't have the ability to go and spend one, two, three, four thousand plus dollars to get an amazing retired Lego set that's on our bucket list of sets to build. So I'm going to jump in and show you how to do this, but I want to tell you real quick how I went down this rabbit hole of trying to figure out how to get a cheaper price on a retired Lego set. So someone on one of the Facebook groups that I follow posted up a picture of this exclusive Lego campus. It's a exclusive set. I believe it was given to just employees over in Denmark. I got going down the rabbit hole of what this actually costs on eBay and different platforms just to try to find the best deal. And it legitimately is ranging from the $600 to $1,000 price tag, depending on the condition of the box, is it sealed, that kind of stuff. And I just was not ready to pay that kind of a price. I absolutely love the set. I love the color scheme of the set. I really wanted to put it together, but I'm just not ready to spend 600 to 1,000 bucks on that set. So I hopped on BrickLink, and through the magic of BrickLink, which is what I'm about to show you, I was able to get the full set for the most part without the box and instructions, for $147. Now, sure, did I miss out on the box? Did I miss out on the instructions? Did I miss out on just a couple exclusive pieces? Yes. However, for $147 versus $800, $900, I will take that deal this time around. Now, I get it. There's some collectors out there, and I can be this way sometimes, depending on the set, where you want the full experience. You want the box. You want every minifigure. You want it exactly like it came out of the factory at Lego. And that's understandable. And then you will have to pay those higher premium price tags if you have the money to do that. However, if you don't really care about it coming directly out of the factory and getting the full Lego experience with the box and all, and or you don't have that kind of money to spend on that Lego set, but you really want to put it together, this is a fantastic legal way to get your hands on this set. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is go to BrickLink.com. And for those of you that don't know, BrickLink used to be a privately held site. It's where you can buy full Lego sets, but the majority of people that are purchasing on this site are buying parts and pieces. And those parts and pieces can be used to build Lego sets. You can buy used parts and pieces. You can buy new parts and pieces. And all sorts of individual Lego sellers are selling on this site. Lego actually acquired this site a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So this is actually a Lego owned website at this point in time. So again, perfectly legal. You can go on here. You're also not getting counterfeit, so you don't have to settle to get the Lepin version of a set that you really want. These are all official Lego pieces. So let's do this. This is another exclusive set, and I'm going to kind of stay in the same category with the employees since that's kind of what got me going down this rabbit hole. So there is an X-Wing that is an exclusive employee Christmas gift that was given out in 2019. Let's go ahead and pull that set up at set number 4002019. And if we look at this set, we're going to narrow it down to just new sets that are fully complete. The bottom line price here in US dollars is going to be somewhere around 700 and then getting up into the $800 range, depending on the condition of the box and the set itself. So Let's call it between $700 and $800 and then adding some shipping on to that and tax depending on where you live. So you're going to spend somewhere between $700 to $1,000 to get your hands on this set if you want it new sealed in the box. But what if we don't care about that? What if we want to get our hands on this set, but we don't want to spend $700 to $1,000? Now, if you go up to the top where it talks about the set and gives you some of the details, you'll see under my wanted list. You'll see add to my wanted list and then you'll see part out. We're going to click on part out. Now this next page that we come to, it's going to show a picture of the set. It's going to say include the following items. We're going to include the 1025 parts that are in the set. Yes. Do we want the three minifigures in that set? We're going to say yes for right now. Original box, do we care about that? I don't, so I'm going to leave it off. Instructions, I'm going to leave those out as well. You can actually get the instructions on lego.com for all the Lego sets, so you don't need to worry about that. Do we want to include out include extra parts? No, I don't really care about including extra parts. If you're a Lego fan like I am, a lot of times you'll have extra parts kind of lying around. And then we're going to give this a name right next to create new wanted list. And we're going to call this the Lego Christmas X-Wing operation and this is an operation because we're trying to get a really good discount on a very expensive set 
You can do condition on the pieces. Do you want them all new? Do you care if they're used? I'm gonna go any condition because these parts are gonna be pretty hard to source and that does play into it. So you might have to, in some cases, take used pieces, but I'm just gonna put any condition for right now. And we're gonna click at the bottom, submit for edit. Now that's gonna bring up a full list of all the pieces that are in this set. Pieces, minifigures, everything's there. Okay, now we can go through this and we can actually pick whether we want a new piece of that or whether we care, whether we want used. Again, doesn't mean necessarily sellers will have it, but we can do that. But we're gonna go add to wanted list. Now it says part out successful. We're gonna go view Lego Christmas X-Wing operation. So now again, we have a full list of all the pieces in the set, the minifigures that are in the set, everything's there. And we've got this button right up here, buy all. So we're gonna click buy all. We wanna get all the pieces that are in this set. Once we click that, we're gonna see this little finding loading bar that just kind of sits there. And it's gonna basically pull up all the stores that have some of the pieces that we could potentially purchase for this set build. Now, keep in mind, you wanna purchase from as few stores as possible because you don't wanna pay 100 different stores shipping costs because at the end of the day, if you're paying 100 different store shipping costs, you're probably not going to save any money on this set. So we wanna to try to find as few stores as possible that have all the pieces that we need to complete the full build. Now, what I usually do is, I'm gonna usually click auto select so that Bricklink will use their software to actually go ahead and source the best stores for me and give me the cheapest cost with the fewest sellers. You can specifically select the stores that you wanna work from if that works better for you for some reason, but we're gonna do auto select for the sake of this demonstration. So we're gonna hit auto select, and we're gonna go ahead and click start. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna to start to look through all the inventories of those different stores to find the pieces at the best price for this build that we wanna do. Once that's done, it's gonna pull up the stores that it's chosen and it's gonna give us the piece count and it's gonna give us the pricing, okay? Now, I do recommend going back and looking through the pieces just to make sure that you do have everything there. Again, the other side of it is you might have some of the pieces in your collection already, so you can. that's another way that you can potentially save money on the overall purchase of this set. But what it's got for me here, it's got four different stores. They're all international stores, so I do have to factor in shipping. Um, but basically, it's giving me the price of $733.04 on this set. Now, that's not a great deal, to be honest because we saw that we can buy the new set with the box and everything for somewhere in that $700 to $1,000. So what I want to do at this point is I want to go through and I, I want to actually look at what I'm paying for these different pieces. So we're going to go here to the first store, give me a brick, and we're going to click edit. All right, so the first thing I see right off the top is I've got a R2-D2 figure, um, basically just getting one of them and it's going to cost me $10 and it's used. I've got a lot of R2-D2s. I don't really care about that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one off and that's going to remove $10 from my order. Okay. Now I'm going to go through some of these other pieces. It's got the brick separator in there. I don't need another brick separator. I've got a million of them. So I don't need to spend 50 cents on a brick separator. Go through a few of these other ones. Base plate. Again, if you have the piece in your collection, then you can just go ahead and click it off and take that deduction on the overall price. I'm gonna leave all of that. It's $10 for a base plate, but I don't know if I have a white one, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that. Gonna go keep going down. This one here is a little bit expensive. It's two of these for $20. Um, these uh, axle hole and stud wheels, but I'm gonna leave that as well. And then you got the sand blue cockpit, cockpit window. That's 30 bucks, that's kind of steep, but kind of have to have it for this build if I'm gonna keep the whole thing intact and get the actual build that I want. So I'm gonna leave everything else. I'm gonna take off those two items and leave it, leave the rest off. Let's move over to the next one. Go scan through the pieces real quick. It's all pretty just standard pricing on pieces. A lot of them are used. That store looks good. I'm not gonna really do much there. Move to the next one. Now this one we have the, the store price on this one is $372. So there's quite a bit in this store that we're buying from them. I'm gonna scroll down through it and here is the first red flag. So we're not, not a lot of pieces in this store, but if you look at this bottom, this Yuletide Squadron Pilot, this is an exclusive minifigure to this set if I'm not mistaken. It's a used piece, but they're charging $368.75. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I like a good minifigure. I like an exclusive minifigure. I'm not ready to spend $368.57 on this minifigure. Maybe down the road I will be, but that's a lot of money for a minifigure. So I'm not going to do that at this point in time. My main goal is to get the actual X-Wing, get that whole thing built. I don't care as much about the minifigures. So I'm going to take that one off. Boom. That is a huge drop. We just took $370 off of our order. So now we're down to $354 as a total price on this set. I'm going to check this last one, Nordic Brick. Everything looks pretty standard on these pieces here. And looks all good. Okay, Master Yoda, $13.65. I don't know, again, it's not a, you know, 13 bucks isn't a lot, but I'm just going to pretty much leave all the minifigures off the set. I just really want the X-Wing at this point in time, so I'm going to take everything else off. All the other pieces look good, so I'm going to confirm that selection. Okay, so we've got all the pieces that we want, and we are down in our cart to $340.47. That's not including shipping, that's not including some tax, so let's just call it, 375 to $400 is what we're going to pay for this set. Now that we've got it all the way down to 340, we're going to go ahead and click create cart. And then what we're going to do is go through each one of the four stores and just click checkout. And that's going to basically take us through the checkout process. It's going to tell us how much we're going to pay for shipping for this store in specifics. We're going to pay $8.51 US in shipping for the order. Um, so we're not paying a whole bunch in shipping there. And you're just going to go out and you're going to go through and check out for each one of these stores. They're going to send you your pieces, go through your pieces, make sure that you did get all the pieces that you ordered. If not, most of the sellers are pretty good about getting those pieces that were missed. And then at that point in time, you have everything you need. And just to show you, I've got a few pieces from my Lego campus already. I've still got more coming, but this is kind of what they come in. They're packaged up. They look pretty good. They're in a nice packaging, especially if you're getting a reputable seller. I tried to go with mostly new pieces on this specific build because the pieces weren't too hard to come by. But again, you've got your pieces. I'll get the rest of those and I'll be able to put that full build together. This is a fantastic way to legally get your hands on rare, exclusive, or retired sets. And that way you can add them to your collection. Now, I did go ahead and build that LEGO Campus set. So if you want to see a review on that set, maybe get an idea. If you want to pick it up as well, click on this video right here in the corner.